guys, Paul Peterson with Guns.com here. I'm uh, actually holding on to a personal firearm of mine, although we have a ton of these at the Guns.com warehouse that you can grab, and that is the Benelli Nova. Uh, this is a uh, hunting shotgun, you can tell pretty much from the camel pattern. Uh, there's a lot of different types of Benelli Novas, different lengths, they come in 20 gauge or 12 gauge. When you look at it, you can pretty much tell right away that there's nothing particularly small about a Benelli Nova. Uh, the slide is elongated. This one is 49 and a half inches long, 7.9 uh, pounds. Uh, that length starts to get a little bit longer when you start doing something like adding on uh, a choke tube. Uh, it is part of the advantages of getting a Benelli Nova. Uh, there's tons of choke tube options uh, for a Benelli choke tube style. So um, I've actually got a couple of different ones here. I actually use this also for uh, sporting clays. Um, this is my goose gun. I really do enjoy it and uh, recently was out on a hunt and one of the first comments from the guide and we keep in mind we had like you know we had a5s uh, we had a 10 gauge browning and i'm sitting there with what is really just a budget friendly benelli nova and the guide looked at it and goes oh benelli nova love that gun i've got multiple um, so they have a nice reputation um, they're affordable uh, they feel and generally perform like they're built like tanks um, it really does when you when you pick it up they the whole system is built around a fiberglass sort of pattern, a molding uh, that's inside of it. When Benelli released this back in 1999, um, several iterations right now down, down the road, but back in 1999, they kind of positioned it as um, revolutionizing or modernizing the pump action shotgun. Um, I don't know about that necessarily. I have opened this up and you can kind of see there's like waffling and things like there to cut down weight. Keeping in mind, it still comes in at 7.9 pounds, so it's, it's not a lightweight by any means, but it's more than good enough for sporting clays. It's definitely good enough for goose. Uh, you're gonna get four plus one in the tube if you're doing those like two and three quarter. I generally hunt with a three and a half inch, which you can do with the Benelli Nova, and at that, you're looking at uh, three plus one, or once you uh, have to deal with the fact that you can only hunt with two plus one for things like duck, then you know, you're, you're dropping that down with the plug that comes with it. Uh, disassembly, reassembly, super easy process. This one comes with the fiber optic front sight and then there's a little silver mid bead here, also super useful. One of the things that I happen to like about this that puts it ahead for me compared to something like a Remington Wingmaster um, is the front safety button. Um, so the, a lot of shotguns will have them in the rear here and I just find that unnatural for me where I'm pulling back or repositioning my hand to activate the actual safety. So having it up here, straight, straighten out the trigger, and then I'm coming back on it. I like that about as much as I like a tank safety, like you're gonna see on a Mossberg 500. Um, I like tank safeties as well, but pretty much anything that doesn't require my trigger finger to be doing much other than being a trigger finger is, is my preference. Uh, butt pad absorbs recoil. You will feel it, but at 7.9 pounds, even with three and a half inch shells, we were doing heavy shot out there. Um, on my last hunt, it's, it's nothing terrible. There is something that's super unique about it, at least as far as my experience with hunting shotguns, and there is a button right down here. Uh, that button is a tube cutoff, and I actually do use it. Um, my understanding is part of the idea behind it was that you'd have this button, and that would allow you to cut off the tube so you could load some sort of specific shell in here. Um, perhaps if it was law enforcement, something like a beanbag shell. For me, it's a more of a, a safety measure when I'm in a hunting blind or if I need to, say, go to the bathroom and pass off my shotgun to somebody else. All I have to do is cut off the tube, take out that one round, and now I, I'm not having to rechamber anything. I'm not trying to stick more rounds in the tube when I'm done. I can just come back in, pop my round in, slide it forward, and I am fully stacked up on the shells just like I was when I was waiting to hunt. So it's actually really kind of a nice uh, little feature. I don't know if it was initially intended for that, um, but from a hunting perspective, uh, that, that actually has been quite handy. Um, and I rather enjoy it, especially in the middle of winter, when uh, one of the last things I want to be doing is trying to fumble around taking shells in and out of a shotgun. So uh, that's kind of an overview of it. You can see here, right, sling studs, front and rear. This one has a Realtree uh, Max 5 camo. There's a lot of different versions of the camo for um, the Benelli Novas. They've been around long enough where, I mean, you're gonna have plenty of used ones coming in different variations of size, length, camouflage. A black synthetic is pretty standard. Um, but then you're also gonna have tons of new ones that are still producing these. So uh, because it is a longer shotgun, 
And you want to be a little bit cautious about talking about accuracy with a shotgun. But you do have a really nice long uh, sight radius on this. I found it very, very nice while hunting. It, as a general rule, uh, it's because it's a Benelli, you know, you have your Benelli choke tubes. Um, I found it super beneficial that I already happened to have another uh, shotgun on hand. Actually, it was a TriStar, which also uses Benelli choke tubes. So there's quite a bit of interchangeability. If you happen to already have a Benelli or something like a TriStar, you can swap a lot of your tubes back and forth. Those are some of the main features that really stand out for me. Um, but the reason I happen to love this shotgun is once I took it out hunting, once I used it, it was just a bang around shotgun at a really affordable price. I do not mind if I ding this, if I throw it in the bed of a truck and we go bouncing out in the middle of a snowy field, cool. I don't really care. The shotgun's going to work. And uh, at the price point, I'm not really worried about it. This is not a Satori. Um, and I do not have the same fears that I would have if I was sticking this on a duck boat and skimming out across the water to, to go hunting. If I had a Satori, it would not be just sitting there on a shelf. So the Benelli Nova gives you a practical man's hunting shotgun at an affordable price. So it's kind of the everyman's Benelli, really, if you think about it. Um, if you're interested in a Benelli Nova uh, or other affordable shotguns, check out guns.com. We have quite a few uh, just kind of generally on hand. We have a bunch in our warehouse that are used, and we have tons of new ones as well that you can select. Um, again, I'm Paul Peterson. Thanks for watching this review. We really appreciate it. And uh, just like, share, subscribe. Drop a comment down below uh, if you want to give us any feedback on these. We're going to try and bring you more of these reviews going ahead in the future here.